The weapon is one of the world's first creations. Since ancient times, people have created crude weapons out of stones and wood and stored them in secret location. States of today will soar and store their weapons in hidden facilities. But what would happen if these facilities are discovered? The conflict between Russia and Ukraine provided the answer, showing that the Russian army struggled with coordination. Then it welcomed Ukraine, and the Ukrainian army's legendary resistance foiled all Russian plans. In numerous areas where the invading force was waging, actions that lasted for hours, the Russian army began to have ammunition problems. Soviet soldiers were forced to escape for a considerable amount of time since they were ill-equipped for the operations and frequently ran out of ammunition. The coordination issue was one that the Russian army was unable to resolve since some France had excessive amounts of ammunition and weapons while other regions had none at all. The longer the conflict dragged on, the worse these issues got. Russia made an intriguing attempt to address these issues. Weapons and ammunition were covertly transported to these warehouses so that the Russian army's ammunition shipments could be streamlined. But there was something Russia did not know. Russia began to use some of the industrial warehouses in the regions of Ukraine it had occupied as ammunition depots. Why didn't the Ukrainian army demolish these warehouses despite Ukrainian intelligence? Obtaining all of the Russian army's plants, drones employed by the Ukrainian army also located many of these depots, but no action was taken against them. The U.S. Tahammer could have been used by the Ukrainian army to fully destroy Russia's munitions depots, but Ukrainian leaders had a much more clever strategy. Following these southern operations, the Ukrainian army organized raids in the areas where the ammunition depots were located. These depots contained a large number of tanks, missiles, guns, and ammunition. The Ukrainian army used this equipment against Russia, especially after Russia fled Khartoum many Russian warehouses came under Ethiopian control. Instead of destroying these weapons, the Ukrainians sold them. Then, Russia realized that it required a different approach. Nobody was told of the midnight relocation of Russian munitions depots to various locations. They intend to prevent the Ukrainian army from capturing these stockpiles by concealing their positions so that only senior commanders knew where they were. Numerous mines were also placed around the warehouses, but something unexpected occurred that caused significant harm to the Russian army. Mines exploded around a covert warehouse in Surprisia region. And when the Russian army went there, they were shocked to see that 200 Chechen soldiers had taken the weapons from the warehouse. It is unknown how the Chechen soldiers discovered the location of these warehouses. The statement that Kadiro made was very intriguing. He claimed that Chechen soldiers had discovered the weapons in this location by accident and that they had been taken to be given to the Russian army. However, no one believed Kadiro's account because the Russian press claimed that this incident had resulted in a conflict. Allegedly, Russian soldiers and Chechen soldiers who had taken possession of Weapons had clashed in this warehouse. Chechen soldiers had also loaded guns with explosives. Chechens despise Russia and want to keep fighting for their independence. Churchin's conflict was being attempted by Katiro, who has been working with Putin up until this point. Many of the Chechen fighters rejected Katiro's ideas and wanted Ukraine to gain independence. Now, these fighters are engaged in combat with Russia. The Russian army is suffering a severe defeat thanks to the Chechens and the Ukrainian army. Some Russian journalists claimed that the Chechen soldiers, who had their weapons seized had also joined the Ukrainian army. If this claim is accurate, it means that another Russian army arms depot has been taken over by Ukraine, which is causing a serious crisis in Russia. Because Chechen soldiers had previously revolted in the army before Chechen soldiers blew up a Russian ammunition depot in passing, many Russian journalists believe that Chechen soldiers should be dismissed from the army as soon as possible to prevent these tragedies from occurring again. What's a Putin administration cannot do this due to the Russian army's extreme vulnerability to Ukraine, and if Chechen soldiers are discharged, the Russian army will be forced to retreat on numerous fronts. Putin must get along with the Sessions if Russia is to win this war without the Chechens. Up until 2009, the Shazam fighters conflict with the Russian military. Several Cheshire warriors persisted on fighting after the war was over in accordance with Gary Law. These battles lasted until 2070. Due to Kadiro's repressive rule, Russia has managed to dominate this region but the Chechen people are still very angry with Russia. Thousands of Russian soldiers were lost in this war. Putin supported the Chechen leader to solve this problem. Kadyrov in cooperation with Putin started arresting Chechen fighters to end this war as soon as possible. If there is a new uprising and Putin pulls back the churches and soldiers from Ukraine, the judge's quest for independence may resume. Putin is extremely concerned about the current scenario. But on the other side, Chechenya's independence demands are growing louder and there are numerous uprisings throughout Bosch. Kurdistan there are 22 republics in the Russian Federation, and people from different cultures and racial backgrounds live there. 
If Russia loses this war, all of the regions could secede, including those that had no intention of expanding this nation's borders by invading Cubacre, but are now on the verge of doing so as a result of the impending collapse of Russia. Putin's worst nightmare are judges and soldiers, since the Russian government is not transparent. Speculation regarding Putin's next move is widespread. To date, Putin has not made any statements about this. Everyone is curious as to what precisely Chechen soldiers are doing in the Russian arms depot and it is anticipated that more details will be revealed as new allegations are made every day. As a result, tensions in Russia are growing and may have an impact on how the war plays out. What do you think of this tension in Russia? We're curious about your thoughts. Please follow us for updates. How do you think Chacha soldiers lured the location of the ammunition depot? Do you think these soldiers joined the Ukrainian army? Do you think Churchens could spark a new uprising? What might happen if the Russian army wipes out the Chechens? Our Instagram. Twitter and Facebook identities are at anchordailynews. We do not rely on any. This channel will show you events as news, politics, economics, entertainment, Hollywood news, world news, sports news, live news, bank credit, loans, educational, education, insurance, today 360 news, floods, storms, earthquakes, and sometimes beautiful events. If you loved the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.